Attracting tomorrow. TDK. Okay, here we are. We're on the unboxing of the um, PAR strip um, demonstration board for free application engineers. Just want to provide you with a quick unboxing of the contents of the kit uh, for those application engineers in the field on uh, what you'll be receiving uh, for the PAR strip design board kit that can be used for quick power solutions for 5 watt to 150 watt applications. Alrighty, so it comes in a really nice uh, plastic case. <clears throat> you can open it. <clears throat> and uh, there's a nice cover to it as well. It's made to last for several years if you treat it well. Um, the first thing you'll see when you open the kit will be a cover letter inviting you to the contents of the kit. <clears throat> it shows you kind of a quick uh, setup guide of how to use the dongle and of course this is video as well to show you how to make this setup and there's a quick fast demo and also a more uh, advanced demo which we'll go over in these two videos on the back side of the card is kind of the addresses uh, the various uh, parts and the modules that are on the board we'll be talking about that as well of course, this is laminated, so you can have this in front of you while you're using the GUI software. <clears throat> There's also a base schematic that you can use to show the customers. And it shows you how simple the power module designs are. Uh, on the back side, it also shows you even the ideas of attaching power sequencers into your board uh, to demonstrate using the standard power sequencers that will be available. And also, if a customer would like to attach their own sequencer, they can eventually do that on this board as well. <clears throat> and then finally, we talked about this in other videos, but uh, some examples of the various power designs that the power strip board allows you to do by using the GUI interface and by changing the voltages for the various targeted FPGAs and SOCs and ARM controllers. And on the back side, there's some additional examples that are possible, kind of like a reference to the different voltages that are possible uh, with the power strip board. So these are three laminates available to you as an application engineer. Now we finally uh, get to have some fun and take a closer look at what the contents of the kit. Uh, it's got a nice, very heavy uh, foam insert. There's the actual board. Uh, that we'll talk about here very shortly. The connectors uh, here, the USB that is also for the um, also for your um, connecting to your computer or your laptop to attach to the GUI. And this attaches to the dongle, which we'll show you here in a minute. <clears throat> There's also a power supply here. This power supply allows you to plug in at this point here, where my finger is. And what it does, it allows you to attach to an AC outlet to demonstrate the board unloaded, meaning unloaded here. You can actually show uh, using your power meter or a um, your GUI interface in your computer uh, to do different demonstrations of the possible power solutions across anywhere from one to eight of these modules uh, for various FPGAs and SOCs. There's also a little plastic case which will contain a USB stick of which you can take and download the GUI interface but it comes with the dongle and some of you will be receiving some examples of these power sequencer kits that will be used to attach to our board over here at the end but these are actual power sequencing uh, solutions we've developed with collaboration partners such as Dialog Semi where you can actually plug in a power sequencing solution that is pre done pre-designed for various FPGAs and SOCs. So that's another cool thing. And of course, working with some of our partners like Dialog, you can have a custom sequencer made uh, in your design for your uh, power modules for TDK. Also in the kit is a programming dongle. This is the actual programming dongle. Uh, from TDK and that's where you would attach it to your your computer or your laptop for quick demo to our GUI 
We'll also show how to attach it later. And this is the actual attachment cable for your dongle for USB or PM bus. So that's also part of the kit as well. And then finally, uh, what I like to do is to really start out with customers by showing the demonstration coin of the actual uh, PAR module design. This is actually the FS1406, um, both the top side and the bottom side of the uh, module that allows you to um, uh, do um, a quick demo of the size of the module and talk about its advantages and features as you start your demo of your board. So that's also in the kit as well, your demo. So that's going to be unboxing of your TDK power strip design board. Okay, now if you're in a hurry to demonstrate this uh, power strip board design, which has anywhere from one to eight power modules, there's some really simple things you can do as a uh, field application engineer to demonstrate the concept of the power strip board and how it can be used for small form factor power designs. So real fast, if you had five minutes in front of the customer, you can actually set this board up very quickly. And the coolest part is all you would need basically uh, is this uh, power supply. Okay, so it's just a cell phone supply we provided with the kit where you can actually attach it. And we're going to go ahead and attach it uh, here to show how fast we can do this. <clears throat> you would take the uh, circular jack and plug it into the power uh, down here to the uh, lower left. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And what actually happened there is it actually started sequencing already uh, here in this design. Let me go ahead and show you the LEDs here for the power sequencing. <clears throat> now we can actually use the um, knob above, which is the actual sequencing switch, uh, to turn on and off the power modules for the enables. So when I hit this, it's like acting like a master reset. You can actually see that all the LEDs came on. Now in the standard mode, we fired up all the enables at the same time for all the modules. And what happened there, it turned them all at the same time, which is why the LEDs all came on. So that's a nice little simple way to just do all power on to get the board running. And actually all of the power modules are actually on providing a voltage right now. Okay. So using a meter, it turns out that the TDK power strip board is set in a default power scheme for the Xilinx Zinc 7 SOC. And as if you recall, we provided this little guide here. It's actually set on design 3 here, design 3 for Zinc 7. So you can see the output voltages at the different uh, V out 1 to V out 5 or 6, I believe, on this design. So you can actually see that we can actually show a very fast demo to show the customer the whole concept of the power strip board is to show multiple outputs for as a power macro for an FPG design. So we're going to go ahead and focus here uh, on the various outputs of the board and I'm going to go ahead and place my meter here and go ahead and take a look at output one. Output one for the Zinc 7 SOC from Xilinx is actually set for one volt. You can actually see that coming in at 0.998 volts for the Zinc 7. And as we go through the rest of the modules on the board, you can actually take your meter and actually show some quick designs here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna, you'll see here that there are leads for ground and the output of each one. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you output two. Output two is going to be basically 1.8 volts. This is the VCC aux rail of the FPGA. Output three can be used for bus voltages or the Surtees voltages for the Zinc 7. Output four uh, used for the memory rail DDR, the PSDDR rail, or also can be used for the Surtees rails so of the Zinc 7. <clears throat> Output 5 and 6 are the system supplies, 3.3, and also for output 5 and output 6, the 5 volt supply. So, very quickly, by taking your power strip board and a meter, you can quickly show the customer 
a very fast design of how to take this power strip board and show a tight form factor design. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on one. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you one more time uh, how tiny these modules are here on this board. That's actually a 6 amp module there with the inductor on the top as well as the input and output caps at 8 millimeters by 8.9 millimeters. A very fast demo uh, for the power strip board from TDK to show some fast designs for various FPGAs and SOCs and ARM controllers. Attracting Tomorrow, TDK.